Hey guys, what's going on? So, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chi Chi. Welcome to the Chi Chi Gang. Hante. Okay, so first of all, I just want to talk about my eyelashes. <laughs> um, yeah, because they on fleeky fleeky. You know what I mean? And this hair is dripping like. I love this hair, man. Okay, but anyway, that's besides the point of this video. So anyway, my name is Chi Chi. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about nursing school, and I'm going to be talking about MedSurge. I am going to talk about MedSurge, how I studied, how I passed, how I did well in the class, and some tips and some tricks to help you study. Also, um, I'll be giving you guys a lowdown of how it is in an accelerated BSN program. So, yeah. <clears throat> If I do this multiple times in the video, please excuse that. I just really like the hair, okay? So, um, yeah. Basically, um, I'm in accelerated. If you guys don't know, I'm in accelerated BSN program. So, I graduate in December. And, um, yeah, so my program is 16 months. You have to have a bachelor's degree in order to be in my program. And also, uh, I think that's the only stipulation. Oh, and you also have to complete the prerequisites required at the nursing school. We don't have an entrance exam to get into my own program. It's just, you just have to have a bachelor's degree. Majority of the people in my class have a degree in like biology, nutrition, sports medicine, social work. Um, I don't know, like just random stuff. It can be in anything. Arts, there's a few people, but as long as you complete those prereqs, you're good. All right, so we're going to talk about med surge. Okay, so med surge, I hated this class. Like, you guys don't even know. I've hated this class. Like, I was in my room multiple times crying because of this class. This class was like the death of me. I hated this class. This was like the class where I felt like I did not, like, not like I didn't perform my best, but like I felt like the questions were harder. One, because um, from first quarter to second quarter, we had increased um, select all that apply. Um, there was always more than one right answer. You Sometimes we've had like all, all answer but one. Um, the questions weren't like black and white. It was a lot of critical thinking. Um, you had to really understand disease processes and how it works in the body in order to figure out like the, um, the best way to like treat a patient. You, um, this class was heavily based on pre-op, post-op nursing interventions the labs that you had to know and the drugs so everything that was from first quarter especially because pathopharm i did really well in that class i got an a but like this one was more like knowing those medications knowing like the things you would look out for um if things are not an expected outcome like adverse effects like what you would give like for um digoxin like you'll give like digibon and stuff like that so you really had to think about it so i want to share with you guys like the book that i use um for my school now because my program is accelerated every single day we went through a new system the only system that we did not go through like once um was okay so my phone called off <laughs> so here's the book that i use this is on my ipad um the medical surgical book uh i really like this book um and the only thing is uh, it's a bit wordy like if you don't like reading textbook please don't start reading textbooks with this one it's very wordy um and i don't know if that's like i don't know that's just like how the book is i don't even know how to explain it like um i don't know let's see what chapter is this i don't even know uh let me see uh, let's pick a chapter i don't know like i don't know how to describe it like the chapters are so long like i don't even understand like they're they're extremely long and for me honestly when i first started doing this class i was like no nope, i'm not i'm not reading these chapters because they're too long so like i would avoid reading um the book but then guess what i found myself doing actually reading the book so like this is what it looks like on the ipad um, the only thing I hate about this is that um, you can see some sections where I highlight it. Sorry, that's my ring light. Um, and what I like about it is like you can add notes. They also have pictures. Um, 
So it's, th it's still the same thing. And the thing is with your highlighted stuff, you can actually highlight and create like little note cards and study from them. So that's the book that I used. That was the actual textbook for that. And then also we use the um, MedSurge success book. Um, as you can see, I thoroughly use this book. Like I have tabs, notes, highlights, everything in this book. So what I do and I find very helpful is that every chapter that we go through in the class, I usually take a tab and mark it off. Once I go through the PowerPoints and then I go through the, um, the textbook, then I will test myself with this book. And I just remember something. Ah, let me get my other book too. Okay, got cut off again. Sorry. Yeah, so basically, um, we had this study guide to go through. And then what I did usually, um, because we had to know like certain labs, I just went online again and I found this table and I just added my own notes to it. Um, if I can find a link, I'll link it down below, but honestly, I cannot even remember where I even got it. But yeah, so the final I thought was pretty okay. Um, it definitely was a little bit difficult just because it was so much information like you had to know. And it was like, I mean, you have the HESI book and all that to study from, which is what I'm going to talk about next. So I wish I would have, you know, paid more attention to this book, honestly, when I first got it. So like first semester, they told us to like really study from this book. Um, but I felt like it wasn't really helpful for first semester because it was like foundation essentials. And the chapter in this book was not, in my opinion, that great. But the section for med surge was awesome. Like they had um, the different systems again. They have the different drugs that's associated with those systems and disorders and diseases and everything that's like in a yellow box so like all these little helpful hints for like the hessy stuff like those are stuff that i paid attention to a lot especially for the final because those are things that they will focus on you know it's the hessy book it's a hess it's a hessy final and then like our hessy finals are um 25 percent of our grade so yeah you basically were safe if you got in that final with like an 85, that's what they tell you because generally the, the finals are always hard, which, you know, I hate it, but I mean, surprisingly, like I did over a 900 and I think like the benchmark was like 850, but I heard that they're increasing it. Anyway, so that's about med surge. Um, if you guys have any other questions about med surge, just leave it down below. So also I'm going to be talking about health assessment. Now in a lot of schools, they, um, they do combine health assessment with foundations, but in our school it's separate. So unfortunately I rented the book. So the only thing that I have is the, um, the, the lab manual. And this class is pretty much okay. This is a class where you basically learn the head to toe, um, like, you know, figuring out what cranial nerves controls what, um, you know, doing this, trying to figure out if the person has like any disorders or anything abnormal, then you'll want to further assess. So this is basically a class where you finally get to feel like a nurse, in my opinion, because you're literally doing the head to toe, literally assessing from that person's top of the head all the way down to the feet to make sure that everything is fine, everything is within normal limits or normal limitations and stuff like that. Also, again, I found an amazing diagram. Um, I told you again, I am a diagram queen. I found this, it was quite helpful. And um, also for our final for that class, um, we had to do the head to assessment on a partner that we picked from the beginning of the semester. And then um, without using any flashcards and notes and just memorize everything. And we, me and my partner passed. Our health assessment class was about five weeks. Um, they said it was six weeks, but literally it was five weeks because the sixth week was our final so um that final wasn't too bad um so yeah so let me show you guys uh also some things that are very helpful that i feel like for the second quarter so i found both of these this is from um what is it amazon they are the farm flash and the patho flash cards so let me give you an example. So I'm going to just take out one random card from digestion. Uh, let me see. Let me just pick out the first one. So the cards look like this. 
Um, pretty simple. They basically tell you what drugs they are, the brand name. Back of the card tells you like the therapeutic about the drugs, um, what you need to keep in mind, action, adverse effects, making connection, things that you have to remember as a nurse. And what I really love about this is that it is actually tabbed. Now, you know, I'm a tab queen, so I found this very helpful. So it goes through all the systems. So you have GI, you have respiratory, um, basically all of the systems are here. Cardiovascular, respiratory. So I really like that. Um, I can link these down below if you want them. Then also for patho, fat, patho flash, which is like a pathophysiology flashcard. Again, everything is broken down according to systems there. You can see all the different ones. So I'm just going to randomly pull out one from GI because it's, it's this first one. So celiac disease, it basically tells you what it is, how to pronounce it, what its system is um, referring to, any um, diagnostic or clinical findings. Also, it tells you like the pathophysiology um, about it, complications, the medical and surgical treatments, any labs or diagnosis that you have to look out for. So these cards were extremely helpful, especially them days where... You know, let's say like randomly, like my daughter got sick and like my husband was busy or stuff like that. Like, you know, I'm a mom too, so I have to like balance it. So if I didn't have enough time to like really go in depth into a chapter, I would use those cards and they were just as perfect just to pick out what was like really, really important and kind of focus on the um, power points for mess search. So that is pretty much it. Um, so yeah, so now I'm heading to my final year. Um, this is actually, so now I'm a senior nursing student because my program is 16 months and the seniors that were before my class already graduated. I'm excited because um, it's all about maternity and pediatrics. Uh, yeah. Oh, and also for the second quarter, so the classes I took was med surge. Um, I took health assessment and scholarly, like I told you. Um, scholarly was more like a research class. I absolutely did not like that class at all. It was a lot of work. Um, in my school, it was better for me personally to be with a partner and, you know, go through everything we needed to go through because it was a lot of work. I'm not even kidding. I mean, I did really well in the class, ended up with an A, but it was a lot of work on top of doing med surge at the same time on top of doing clinicals it was a lot it was so like this semester literally drove me crazy i could not wait for it to be over so i'm just glad i got through it and again um before i go i want to share with you guys the highlighters and stuff that i normally use um so people always ask me about the highlighters that i use so these are it these are the midliner highlighters i absolutely love these highlighters these are my favorite and i use the stabilo um pens i usually get like the what is this the 88 pack and it's a 30 point and it has so many different colors and that's what i use to generally write out my notes so yeah